Bless and love and greetings, YouTube. Yours truly, Adrian, checking in. And I've been called, man. I've been called. I feel the spirit to deliver this message. The timing is right. Sun shining down on me. I'm in the spirit. I'm feeling it, feeling it, feeling it all the way tapped in. So, you know, spiritual warfare is what I want to talk about. It's been on my mind heavy for quite a bit, some time now. And the Bible speaks of spiritual warfare not being a fight or a war against flesh and blood. And the truth is that I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna dismantle that notion because from being on the front lines firsthand, from fighting this war firsthand, it is, it is, it is a war against flesh and blood. And I can, and I can, I can attest to that, man. I'm telling you, the devil is out here to kill, steal, cheat, murder, dismantle, rob, whatever he can, whoever he can, families, uh, communities individuals like anything organizations cliques crews whatever but anything that defends the higher purpose anything that defends the light anything that defends righteousness anything that defends love you're under attack you're under attack i've answered my calling i know i've answered my calling i know what it is i know what it can cost i know what i know what i could be sacrificing i want you to be aware that when you sign up for this, it's not its not all like something for you to go on YouTube or something for you to post about on Instagram or yeah, spiritual warfare and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm, I'm taking up, take up arms. <clears throat> the, the, the attacks don't just exist on a spiritual level. There's not just astral plane attacks. It's not just in your sleep realm attacks. These are real physical 3D, third dimensional on this earth, on this plane attacks. And the devil's not out for just to make you stumble and scrape your knee like he's out here to kill steal murder rob like do away with you do away with your essence do away with your spirit the spirit spiritual warfare why why is it a spiritual warfare if it's a physical one i'll tell you about that something i recently learned something i recently seen where ai artificial intelligence ai does not have a soul ai does not have a spirit ai does not have none of that they need yours. They need yours. Plenty of people are giving it up. Plenty of people, bro, the fight. Growing up, I knew that there'd be a war, there'd be a fight, there'd be a revolution, there'd be this back and forth. I did not think, though, that some people, we as human beings, would be just giving it up, giving up our rights, giving up our freedoms without even with no resistance. There's no resistance whatsoever. No resistance to the powers that be. Just giving up the liberties. Quarantine comes along, just give it all up. Just give this up, give that up, give up all these rights. The rights to determine whether your child should be vaccinated or not, or which vaccines you should take or not. Man, y'all are, are too easy, bro. Y'all are just making this way too easy. But guess what? You keep doing what's popular, you keep doing what's cool, I'm going to do what's needed. I'm going to do what's needed. Like I said, I've answered my calling. I've taken up my shield. I've taken up my my. I've taken up my weapons. I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. I'll say that one more time. I'm in it to win it. I really am. So... Just know, man, there's, there's works to do. And just know that if you're going to represent the light, if you're going to represent, you know, higher purpose, if you're going to represent a God purpose, if you represent love, bro, God is love, love is God. Like, that's the end. That's the end result. That's it right there, right? So if you're going to represent love, if you're going to represent righteousness, if you're going to represent godliness, just know that it could cost you your life. It could cost you your life. I don't, I don't mean to come on here and alarm anyone. I don't mean to come on here and spread spread uh panic or fear bro fear fear should be the last thing in your heart if you defend god if you defend righteousness if you defend you know your higher purpose if you defend the light the light people talk about love and light love and light yeah it is love and light but in the spirit of balance in the spirit of wholeness in the spirit of oneness you need an equal part darkness you need an equal part dark you need an equal part negative as you do positive. You're not going to start a car with a 60-40, you know, balance, 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 harmony, 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 oneness, 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 love, love, love life, love, love, love the life you live, live the life you love, be good. Anyhow, me, like I said, I've answered my calling. I know what it could cost. I'm ready to sacrifice it all to defend love, to defend God, to defend the most high. I'll do it three times if I could. Listen, another thing, spiritual warfare. 
It's not just a spiritual one. It's here on this third dimensional plane, taking flesh and blood, taking it all, taking it all. Why is it that when we speak of spiritual warfare, you know, there, there's seven weapons that God has given us. There's, the Bible speaks of seven weapons for spiritual warfare. Five of them are defensive. Let that will marinate. Five of the seven weapons that the Bible speaks of that we're given are defensive and only two of them are offensive. Why do we got to sit around and be on the defensive? Why must we sit around and only be on defense? You want to win something, you got to take up the offensive, right? You got to be on the offense. You don't win games with defense alone. Maybe I'm wrong, but let's change the narrative, bro. We know we're at war. Why, how much longer are we going to hide in the trenches and wait to only strike on defense? Hmm? Look me in my eyes, bro. I'm going to speak to you clear. How much longer are we going to sit by in the trenches hiding to only attack on defense? Why must it be that way? Jump on the offensive and just chop them down at the chop them down at the fucking root. Take your fucking sword, your machete, chop them down at the fucking root. Gun them down at the fucking root. Like, no longer are we gonna sit by and only defend ourselves and just defend ourselves. If we're at war, you know you're at war. Be on the offensive. The truth is an offense. Be on the offensive. Bob Marley said it again. And I'll say it again. Say it once, I'll tell you twice. But Marley said the truth is an offense. Fight the war with truth. Fight the war with righteousness. Fight the war with fucking love. Because love is the ultimate. Love is the ultimate. Love wins everything. Love always conquers. So, I mean, you, you, got, you, got, you got the answers. You got the tools. You got the weapons right here on earth. You don't need, you don't need battalions. You don't need this and that. I just gave you, I just gave you the fucking cheat code. I just gave you the fucking end all, right? Love conquers all. You want to conquer this war? You want to conquer the enemy? Fight your war with love. Don't sit by on the fucking defensive no more. And, oh, well, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm, we're on defense, uh, spiritual defense and spiritual warfare. You know you're at fucking war. You want to lose the war? You want to fucking win the war? I know that the light has already won. See that? I know the light has already won, it's been prophesied about, it's been spoken about, I feel it, I know it, I am the light, I live it, so, which goes back to my first, not my first, but a couple back, my little short that I have on my page, doubtless faith, doubtless faith, have faith, but make sure that there's not a seed of doubt in it, right, doubtless faith, if you enter anything with doubt, you've already been defeated, so, let's switch the narrative, from defense to offense, the truth is an offense. Let's fight with truth. Let's fight with righteousness. Let's fight with light. Let's fight with love. Love conquers all. That's it. That part. More guidance, more blessings, more love, more protection, more and more love, more guidance, and even more protection for you and yours, your family, your loved ones. And with all that said, make sure to hug them a little longer, kiss them a little harder, Squeeze them tighter. And instead of texting so much, just try to pick up the phone once. Just do it not even once a day, once a week. Pick up the phone. Tell the ones you love, you love them. Make sure they know it. Well, start with once a week. You might be able to go to, to twice a weekend, and then you might be able to go to every other day. Pick up the phone, bro, and tell those that you love that you love them. Make sure they know it. Make sure they don't doubt it. Make sure they're aware. You never know what battles someone is facing. You never know what battles someone is fighting. Tell them you love them before it's too late. You don't want to live the rest of your life telling them, oh, I wish I could tell them. I wish I could tell Timmy this. I wish I could tell Annie that. Tell them now while they're here. All right? Spiritual warfare. Annie up. Mount up. Strap up. I know I am. I know I am. So, boom, bam. Blessed love. Yours truly, Adrian, signing out.